Yes, what is up my beautiful people and my cream slice family. Thank you for all the love and support on the channel. You guys mean a lot to me and we're going to take this build over the edge. I'm so, can you hear the excitement in my voice? How hyped are you lot for with Witch Queen right now? This shit is just amazing. But nonetheless, let's get into this build. So, Void 3.0 dropped and there are some crazy ass builds out there. But I thought I wanted to put a build together that was going to be sufficient enough for people who wanted to run the legendary campaign and you couldn't get a fire team together. So I struggled to get a fire team together when I first started it out, right? I soloed it all up until this point, as you can see. I called on a trusty fire team member to come and help your boy out to help me finish the campaign and we did that we can show you this build guys so yeah we are going to be utilizing the void 3.0 aspects and fragments but for for this build what i do recommend is a lemon arc right we all know exotic primaries have had a significant buff inside of pve but this just it it rips enemies apart obviously from the poison damage, the tick damage, you know, when you throw in them suppressive grenades and it's draining the life force and then you're hitting them with a poison arrow and the poison arrow is spreading around the enemies. You're dropping your rift down, you're getting that new turret that runs over to your enemies and sucks the life out of them motherfuckers. Like, it's just all there. And so we are going to be utilising the child of the old gods and chaos accelerant we all know what chaos accelerant does it it allows us to charge up our grenade and it will deal more damage and it lasts longer right and we're obviously going to be pairing it with a vortex grenade because it still is the strongest grenade for pve i don't care what you heard it's still strong and the fragments we are going to be running is an echo of expulsion void ability final blows cause targets to explode echo of remnants your lingering grenade effects last longer and echo of undermining this will weaken your enemies with your void grenades this all plays a part in this build like i said i wanted to get you guys through the legendary campaign without all the you know fancy shenanigans and stuff which so they are obviously the the fragments that we are going to be using there's not a lot out and this is what I happen to put together and it synergized perfect with this build child of the old gods this is just amazing so when you cast your rift it's going to send a void soul out it's going to drain your enemies and refund you with grenade and melee energy and it's also going to weaken your targets as well which makes lemon arc that much more potent when you are hitting them headshots with a perfectly drawn arrow so i think it ticks for like i think it's like eight eight ticks at like 12 percent damage it's something crazy like that but then when we are um pairing it with the battle of mantle harmony this is where shit kicks off really well so as we know the battle of mantle harmony with the void so class goes hand in hand so when you are getting void kills with Laman Arc, you are getting your super back quickly. And when you, if you want to sit on your super, you are going to get an extra 20% damage increase with your bow on top of the 40% PvE increase, which now makes Laman Arc top tier. And especially now that it's got anti barrier mod, it's, it's phenomenal. So, this is the build, guys. I do recommend maybe using a grenade launcher in your kinetic slot and maybe a solar rocket launcher just for the witches and stuff so um there will be um a screenshot with a build so you guys can take a look at it and and slot it we've got elemental ordnance so when we get a kill with our grenade it will spawn and void elemental well we've got kinetic siphon rapid kinetic weapon final blows create an orb of power we have to put this on our helmet now if we want to create orbs of power with our weapons masterwork will do absolutely niche right harmonic siphon rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass creates an orb of power as well so we are going to be utilizing lemon arc so we're going to chain back to back kills with that on the gauntlets we've got font of might so we get that extra 25 percent damage buff 
on top of absorption cells with the battle of mantle harmony because as we know font and might stacks with absolutely everything in the game this is what i'm saying this build is it's off the, it's off the chain guys no bullshit not bullshitting you i recommend specking your grenades as high as possible because it's always handy to have the weakening effect from your grenades to um suck in a lot of enemies Sucking. grenade kickstart on the gauntlets as well so when we use our grenade that will increase our grenade recharge rate as well on the battle of mantle harmony right i do recommend this mod it is super super important because there is a lot of solar and arc damage being thrown in your mouth in this legendary campaign it's it's insane honestly you just getting just getting fucked about all over the place but I recommend slotting these two on. I don't know if doubling it up works, but it should do. Because if you double slot any of the other mods, I think it's like an extra 40% resistance. If you double slot, say, melee damage resistance, two of them. But um, well, the tenacity, when we are throwing a grenade and we are picking up a void elemental well, we are going to get font of might and we're also going to get 10 seconds of constant healing, which is damn OP after... Uh, protective light did get a recent nerf but none of the less guys it's just a short video i just wanted to see how you guys are getting on with the campaign and give you a little heads up if you've not done it on your warlock i recommend this build thanks for watching i'm cream slice peace